This is a video that will just briefly show you uh, what Think Tank is all about and uh, what it can do. This is what Think Tank looks like when you started a new page. What you see here on the left side is what we call the uh, list of content or agenda. Uh, there are four different areas. You can see them here on the left side. The top one is called the plan, the background, the agenda, and the outcome. The plan is usually an activity area where we input activities that helps us plan a session. You can open and close it by clicking the little arrow here. You see right now there's nothing in it um, when I close it up. Uh, the next one is called the background. We usually use that for uh, preparation information. Uh, and activities before the specific session. Uh, then we have the agenda, which is the, the content for the actual meeting or session. And then we have an outcomes area, which deals with the, the uh, tan tangible outcomes, outcomes and results that we're looking for from the session. Normally, uh, the core content for a meeting or a session is found under the agenda. You can see here there's one activity. It's blue right now. Uh, and this is called the welcome activity and what you see on the right side here is actually a picture this picture you can change if you click this little gear wheel uh, you can choose a file and then you can input here any jpeg file that you have and it'll show up in the welcome screen now on the top here you see a little icon and you can actually expand that this is called the home button so this one if you press this one that will bring you back to the uh, page administration screen, the one you saw when you logged in. Okay. This, the page I just created here was 207, so I'll go back into that one. I do that by clicking it so it's blue and clicking on the little icon here. Um, other things you can do up here, here you can see if you have a good connection. If it's green, you have a link, a direct link to your network. Uh, if it is red, you don't have a connection. The third one here, uh, actually, if you uh, opens up a email, as you can see. So if you have a question to uh, Think Tank support, then it opens up here, and you can write an email to uh, to our support center. The fourth one is a number of different settings that we will get into at the later point in time for the whole session. Um, the next one here with the graphs on it, that's actually where you output the content of the Think Tank session. And here you can see that you can output it in the format you see here, which is HTML. You can also choose Excel or Word. And then once you have a number of activities in here, you can choose which activities to output. Last but not least, you have a question mark. And this is where you find all the information uh, you might uh, want to review about how to use Think Tank. What you see here is an index screen on the left side that can do different things. It opens onto this page that basically tells a little bit about the home screen, the admin screen. Um, at the bottom here, you, all, you can also find other useful links to information about Think Tank. The best place to go as a, as a new um, user of Think Tank is to uh, check out the Think Tank online video tutorials at the website thinktankuniversity.net. When we open this one up, what we do here is get access to three types of videos. Uh, videos about Think Tank features, you open it up by clicking this button, that shows you and tells us a little more about navigation tabs, designer tab, thinker tab, and so forth. Um, there are also videos about different activities that you can do with Think Tank, uh, crowdsource activities, presentation activities, picture this, and so forth. And there are a set of videos about Think Tank functionality, uh, about how you move data, how you uh, use reporting functions, and how you change permissions. So these are all useful um, advice and instructions about how you to use the features and functions of Think Tank. But let's go back to the main screen. I'm going to switch back by pressing this button up here. Now, in order to add activities to the session, 
you have to enter what's called the designer tab. So if you click on the tab, what you see open up here is a list of different um, activities that you can add into your think tank session. Now there's a set of crowdsource activities, assessment activities, voting activities, visual activities like uh, if you want to do PowerPoints uh, and matrix activities that deals with planning uh, or spreadsheet-like activities. Um, for now, let's take a look at the crowdsourcing activity. Our standard activity for crowdsourcing is always the top one. In this case, it's called custom crowdsource. And if you want to add an activity to this session, you basically drag and drop by clicking the left button of your mouse and dragging it over to the left side. You see a green little line appear. And where that one is, when you release the bottom, which I do now, that's where the activity is going to be placed. Um, in here, you can also find information about the different sessions. So if, for instance, there is something called a Agenda Minutes and Notes uh, crowdsource activity, and over here you can read a little bit more about what that activity is all about. Uh, for normal design, um, we always start with the top one, which is the most commonly used activity. Um, let's close down the designer tab. The next tab you have are, is the thinker tab. The thinker tab will actually tell you a little bit about who um, is in the session and what type of access they have. So when I click this one, I can see there's only one person in the session, which is me. Um, I can see uh, that I'm in the welcome activity. The welcome activity is the blue activity. And I can see I'm a leader of a session. There are three types of um, roles for a session. There's the leader, which is the session leader that sees everything I see. There's a thinker, which only sees certain elements. And then there's a co-leader um, that can see as much as the leader, um, but doesn't have all the functions of a leader available. So this is where you check who is in your session. You can see it's green because this person is live in the session and able to participate. If it is red, it is a person that's logged in <clears throat> but are not able to participate in the session. The third tab um, we have is the navigation tab. And this is what you actually see here. If I press this one, this area will close down. Right? So that goes away. On the other side, you have two other tabs. You have one that's called Instructions. <clears throat> and this is where you can input information uh, for the participants in the session, which are called thinkers. So you click on the thinkers, and that gives you access to input instructions or other helpful information. You do that by clicking this little button. So you can actually add text here. Hi and welcome. You can save this one, and then it appears here. There's also a, an instructions button for the leaders. So if I click on that one, I'll, I can now add information for myself or others that leads the same session. The last tab we have is called Documents. And this is basically where you can share documents with others. So in order to upload documents to this activity, you press on the, on the green button here. And then that gives you access to choose a file. You can choose any type of file you have in your file area. Let's go to um, Documents. And then I can pick, for instance, this PowerPoint here, Gone. And I can upload it. Now I'm pressing Open. You see it says Gone PowerPoint. And I upload. And in a minute, <clears throat> you can then see this upload to the shared um, document repository. These documents that are then appearing here on the right side, everyone that um, has access to the session and can get into the documents uh, area can actually see these ones and download them. Uh, in order to download them, basically you click on this one and then you choose um, you know, what you want to do with the, um, the file. In this case, I see what I can do as a leader. I wanted to download it, I, I just click this one and it downloads directly into my uh, desktop, just like a normal document would do. That was the Documents tab. Now, there are a couple of green buttons here uh, that you can see. And the green button 
makes this tab available to thinkers or participants in the session. Normally, these ones are closed out because it's not necessary for participants to see these things. So we close them out by clicking on these green buttons. So this is normally what a thinker would see when they access the session. As you are the session leader, you have another view. You have a view where you have access to uh, these uh, tabs and these functions on top. The next thing you need to do is to review the videos in Think Tank under the, the question mark icon about Think Tank activities, features, and functions. It'll tell you in more detail all about all the different types of functions and features of Think Tank and how they operate. Once you've reviewed all these videos, then it's time to go back to uh, your YouTube channel and watch the video Build Your First uh, Session Exercise. In order to find where these instructional videos are, I will sh briefly show you where you find them again. So you go back to Think Tank, to this uh, Think Tank session that you have open. You click on the uh, man icon on the top. You click on the question mark. Then you scroll down to the link called Think Tank Online Video Tutorial. It says thinktankuniversity.net. And then this one opens up a new browser um, tab. And here you then have access to these videos. And you click on Navigation tab in order to view the navigation. And here you see the video starts up. Pretty simple. Good luck. And please remember that once you're done reviewing the different videos, um, you have to go to the Build Your First Session exercise.